Sean, we've been friends for a minute. Uh, how long have we? How long have we been friends? How many years is it? Uh, about twenty, maybe. I think it's yeah. I think yeah, 20, 20, 20, 20. 21. 20 years. Yeah. No, nah, it's been time. more. It's been more like twenty one. Yeah. We met in late nineties. Our early was it? Nah, anyway, we've yeah. been friends for a long time. Long time, bro. Nasia, we've been friends for about ten, close to close to ten years 10 now. Ten years. Yep. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, apparently, time does not <laughs> matter in some friendships. Yeah. No, There's some true. things that can break up some friendships. For sure. Uh, one of my favorite groups of all time, Public Enemy. Mm. Has just announced that they have parted ways with one of the frontmen, Flavor Flav. Yeah, y'all know Flavor Flav. Yep. If you don't know Flavor Flav from the Public Enemy days, you know him from like the Flavor early stages Flav. of like Flavor of Love, Flavor of, reality, of Love. Yeah, reality, reality TV. Yeah. yeah, he was like kind of what helped pop off the Love and Hip Hop situation. I think because I think I don't think Love and Hip Hop was around before Flavor of Love. Yeah, Flavor of Love was early. In yes. The, yeah, it was. It was early. He had a bunch of bad girls that wanted him too. I didn't understand. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> so still say that the, the nature, she defies all odds and logic she just you know social norms she just i get away <laughs> with things because i'm adorable yeah okay that too all right so basically public enemy has they released a statement saying that flavor flavor is no longer a part of the group yep. because i guess what seems like they endorsed or they're supporting the group is supporting bernie sanders but Flavor Flav has decided that he did not want any parts of that endorsement and sent a cease and desist to the campaign. Um, now, basically, what's happening is Chuck D, who is the front man of the group, has says it's not because of Bernie Sanders, it's because of other issues. It's because of money things. And he doesn't want to do free events, and he's sued over other issues. He's basically, his lawyer is a ambulance chaser, I guess you can say in so many ways. And so if he would have gotten paid, he would have he would still be a part of the group. So basically, it seems like there's some financial conflict in the group. And it's such a heartbreaking thing, because I'm like, you don't have Public Enemy without Flavor Flav. No, just, no, I think you do. I, absolutely not. <laughs> no, one. you don't have no, Flavor Flav. I can't. think you do. Absolutely, There's you cannot. several other members of the group. It ain't, it, Some of them jokers, one. no. A lot of them folks, so Professor me. Griff, is no, was, he left like in the 90s, I think it was. And you don't even remember that, do you? I, I didn't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I didn't. Because there are certain hey. people who are expendable. Okay, so But right, Flavor right. is not one of them. Give me your best Flavor Flav uh, lyric. Uh, nine one was a joke. That whole song was flavor. Okay. Nine one was a joke. Give me your best flavor bar. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about that. I'm gonna you sit can. on that one. I don't care. Uh, who you are. We like them as a group, but uh, honestly, at the end of the day, Joker for Super Lupe, Mother and John Wayne. Yeah, that, was okay. that was flavor. That was flavor. Yeah, that was flavor. <laughs> I feel like Chuck wrote that. He probably did. But but, but hear but, me out. Hear me out. Okay. This was a long time. I feel like. They wanted to get rid of him the day he showed up on that episode, the very first episode of Flavor of Love. They was like, this dude cannot be a right, part right. of our group. I'm seeing what, what took them so long. That's my point. Well, well I'll th the reason why I'll push back on that, historically, Chuck D has always positioned the group as... Well, them specifically, him and Flavor, as the, the, the polarizing views that black of uh, white America sees the black man. There's the very serious, political, scary educated version which i guess chuck d is supposed to represent right. and then there's almost like you know not to be too pejorative but like the shuck and jive mm -hmm. we're about a good time black man which flavor flav represented mm -hmm. and so chuck has known this about flav mm -hmm. he's known like you're the you're a character every now and then i can have fun as an educated black man and every now and then flav can be serious and political um so i don't know if that's it i think it may have been an issue of just literally grown apart financially there's some issues and I, the question that I have, they, go ahead. No, they, he gave him a year, a, a year ago. He uh -huh. said, "Yo, you got a year to get your act together." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And apparently, that that time has expired. So I guess what I'm saying is, and I don't know how tight their friendship was, because just because you're in a group doesn't mean you have a great, great friendship. Right. But what would it, <laughs> if you have a friendship for multiple years, for 37 years as they've had, hmm. what thing would be the the camel? I mean, the straw that breaks the camel's back that you would be like, mm, nah. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. out of this friendship. I'm done with this friendship. What? <laughs> I mean, for me, there's really only two things that'll really tick me off. Okay. Okay, go. So the first thing is probably suggesting some type of brother-husband situation. 
<laughs> you love it. The brother has it, it goes back to the brother. Your thing. Always. You love this what shit. I've thought a lot about it. And what? it make yeah, I would be very upset with a friend. Like, how long have you felt this way? If a friend came to you and propositioned you about your husband, is what yeah. you're saying. Or, okay. or vice versa. Like, oh, me okay. and my husband, or okay. me and my wife, right. want to invite you into our marriage. Yeah. Both of those things would make me feel very you're uncomfortable. Out. You're pissed at that point. Yeah. Okay. Or, if I'm eating something with a spoon, yeah. and you eat out of my bowl... This is, I feel like the scale <laughs> is yep. just, <laughs> these yep. are so far apart. 30 years, if, 30 cream, years, hold on. Soup, so you telling me right now, if we go cereal. out to eat right now, and you're eating something out of, a, and I just was, I was like, you know what, let me get some of that. Um, Tasty. We had a good run. <laughs> we had a good run. <laughs> How are you going, you, is that it? You just go dap me up and you walking out? I'm not dapping you up. You're definitely good. not being going to be like, just. This over. might be worse than the brother husband's thing. <laughs> Yeah, you just it's the are you gonna fight me? Are you throwing a bowl at me? Filthy, despicable thing a human can. Why? Saliva. Why not just eat anymore and so just you, be mad at me? Yeah. No, I mean like you said. You, you know, I was mad me. at you when you ate my last piece of sushi. Very disrespectful. This is real. This is a real situation. Yeah, that really happened. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I was just like, you could have asked. Yeah. It was the last piece. Who does right, that? Right. Yeah. Disrespectful. I was testing our friendship. Sure. Right. And but there was, was grace some there. Cereal, and he just he dove into. I don't it. know what kind of person you are. If you'll eat after, yeah, the backwash, the I just I don't understand. Okay, yeah, that that'd be the end for us. Wow, Sean, for you, you got any? What's some things, bro? What's the, what? What would it do? What, I mean, <clears throat> so I had I had a situation. All right, I had a, I had a situation where I completely ended, and um, I don't have anything to do with this individual at all. And he accused me of doing something that I didn't do, number one, mm -hmm. and uh, and just kept it going, just kept the story going and, and all this kind of stuff. And so I think, I think, yes, I think I can't pull one thing out of the air and be like, yo, this is the one thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think there are many things that I would, that I can be like, yo, that's enough for me to sit you outside of the building in terms of the, the right. being in the building of my life. You know, you're yeah, outside yeah. the building. It's a totally different thing. You can get me to a level too where not only are you outside the building, but I'm coming looking for you while you're out there. <laughs> There's some things you can do to get yeah. me there too. Yeah. So he started a rumor about you? Yeah, yeah. I, I'll tell you, mm. the, the rumor was that I was, Nah, I'm not gonna tell you the rumor. <laughs> oh, I, just, man. I just thought about it. I was, I was like, like, wait a minute. No, I'm not telling y'all the I've rumor. I've never but, wanted to but, know yeah. something more than yeah. at this moment. Yeah, he started this rumor that was just really bad, and um, came at my it, it it came to my wife about it. Uh -huh. She kind of laughed about it because she you know she broke right, right, me down right, right, like right. that. And uh, but you know when it came to my attention, man, I wanted to go to war. You know, and so but yeah, it was one of those things that that did, you know, did he say that y'all had like some sort of rendezvous? No, nah, some bro. sort of secret. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, it has to be sexual. No, no, no. It wasn't sexual. I'm not about to. I'm not about to. Not about to. It's happening <laughs> like that. Can we be vague? Can we remain vague? Yeah, we can remain no, vague. I'm, I'm the privacy guy. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We okay. can remain vague. I look. I tell there's you after. the funny thing is, I would you know if you know me, there's no way that I would be a part of a group for many, many years, travel the world with people. Mm -hmm. And then break out and you know and yeah, not right. have a friendship. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean that would just mm -hmm. that's, that's unheard of. That's, that's yeah. just not in my world. That's not something you would do. I've never experienced yeah, anything like that. Because you're just this man of character. Yeah, so who puts I have friendship to think, above all things? Yeah, absolutely. So I have to right. think in and hypothetical. And so right, you're not drawn on any personal. No, not only personal. No, but uh, honestly, man, I don't know. Like there, I think to, to your point, there are a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Um, I I. I don't like when people eat cereal and they leave a very little bit of cereal left and they put it back in a cabinet. So you would stop being someone's friend yes, over that? Yes, I would. I hate people who do that. Or they drink a lot of orange juice and they just put like a little bit of orange juice back in the fridge, stuff like that. I haven't done that. But I'm t on a serious note, I know like if anything regarding my wife and my kids, that ends friendships. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know, man. I, I But 37 years, I'm trying to think. Like if I don't know outside of you, like outright disrespecting like my family, I don't see what would happen. Because well, even if you did money, even money violate, I like, bro, I would find a way to be like, 
we can work this out. Yeah, you can you can see through. It's, but it's not the thing. It's it's the it's it's the character stuff that that's revealed through whatever gotcha. the thing uh-huh. is, right? True. So mm-hmm. so if it's like okay, I, I I stuck you for a couple hundred dollars or something, it's like yo, if that's a habitual thing. Yeah, but not only habitual, it's just like why couldn't you just come talk to me? Like we've been right, you know, we've been friends for a long time. How right. come we can't just come talk to you? So there's something else going on there that I would want to get to the bottom of, but. I don't know, man. It's it's there's some things, but wife and kids for sure. I think I think what makes it difficult, and I I know a situation. I mean, I'm thinking of another situation. What makes it difficult is when there's a situation that happens, and there can't be any common ground in terms of how you guys view that situation or whatever the mm-hmm. case may be. And sometimes that's just enough to dr- to put enough wedge in there from a communication standpoint, mm-hmm. from a trust standpoint, yeah. and all that kind of stuff to be like, yo, you know what? I could just, it's not going to be the same. Yeah. And so it's not, it's just going to be weird. It's, it's probably best we don't. I don't know that consciously you do that all the time, but it happens for sure. Yeah. I I think also the one thing that that is obvious, that I think, may not be obvious but i i think we can deduce from this particular story is that we just like marriages we talked about last week relationships evolve mm-hmm. like friendships evolve and sure. and seasons people grow and they make changes and they make decisions that not necessarily intentionally drives a wedge in a friendship but you just don't communicate as much and as often and i think in all of those seasons you have to reevaluate your friendship because i think part of the the reasons why I've had friendships that didn't seem like they were as solid um, like 15 years later was because of all of those changing nuances. And then when you come back into a situation where you're in front of each other and you realize like, oh, I don't think we're as tight as I thought we were. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like things have changed a little uh, bit. Oh, I don't but the know problem you. is, is you you assume their relationship mm-hmm. and then you probably expect things. And you don't receive those things that yep. you expected. Yep. And then you're butthurt. Right. <laughs> you're like, oh, nigga, we ain't cool. We ain't cool like that. I thought we was cool. Like. Well, I mean, like, we ain't talked in, like, three years, my dude. And, like, what am I supposed to do? So I think even with me, I have to learn, like, man, when you uh, even – the one thing I think is unique about our relationship, and I still don't assume in Mm -hmm. some cases, is that we don't talk all the time. Mm -mm. But we can go a month without talking. But when we do talk, it feels like, oh, man, this is – Nothing. This is nothing. But even in that, I'm like, I don't don't think I need to assume Mm -hmm. that we're still really, 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 really close friends. Mm -hmm. But – I want to make sure that, you know, hey, man, you know, talk things out, communicate. <laughs> How does that go? <laughs> I don't know. Just I just throw things out there that, you know, if they're reciprocated, I'm like, okay, I think, uh, yeah. you this know. This is so interesting. Yeah, it's just like, so for us, right? Like you went away for about four, year, four years, five years. And I think, I think our friendship took a hit during those four, four or five it years. It did. And I was so disappointed. <laughs> Because I had no friends where I moved to. And I was like, oh, my old faithfuls are gone too. Mm. And then, but when you come back, it's like, oh. Pick up where you left off. Besties. Back, 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 back. But everybody's not like that. Everybody yeah. can't pick up. I have yeah, I have multiple friends like that. Mm-hmm. Actually, a lot of the guys that we went to went to school with. Yeah. I, uh, almost all of them, you know, and I think part of it is we, we went so deep in, you know, true. for a long period of time that there's a lot to draw on yeah you know what i'm saying and because we we went deep at levels that are that that kind of remain consistent unless they just completely turn right turn yeah. and turn into a different person so it's a lot of people it's, it's you know not to make you feel unspecial but yeah it's a lot of people no, that no. i can talk to after, <laughs> right, after no. you know a few months go by and, yeah but <laughs> but at the end of the day you know, you just pick it back up. No, nah, and C.S. Lewis yeah. has a quote that I love. He talks about friendship starts when you look at the other person. And you say, "You too." Yeah. Like, and I think that's the uniqueness about our our relationship is even in those times where there may have been a lack of communication. I think we grew in similar interests yeah. as well. So, like mm-hmm. the friends that you may have had when you know similar friends we both had in Tuskegee mm-hmm. or school. Um, they probably grew in a different direction. Mm-hmm. And in our separation, we kind of grew in a similar direction, right. which is yeah, really interesting, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that um, probably can't be really explained. Mm-hmm. Um, but like how we view things socially, how we view things spiritually, how we view things politically. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, it's interesting. I think friendship is a very, and I don't think we have enough 
healthy conversations around like we especially when you think about a theology of something mm -hmm. like we don't talk about friendship in a way like we talk about marriage we have conferences about marriage right. yeah. we have conferences about vocation but people don't talk about friendships because we just assume like oh they'll work it out hey right? we talk to our kids all the time about friends how do I identify a trash friend? How do mm. I identify a phony friend, a good friend? Like these are re like we talk about this regularly because I think these are the those are the relationships that will that yes. can that can determine how your life ends. Uh, Absolutely, having the wrong people in your camp can totally derail you in mm. ways that you don't you don't plan on. Having the right people in your camp can pe keep you on a track. Or inspire you to do things that are that are you wouldn't you otherwise have been inspired to do, and so mm. yeah, yep. we talk about this regular. But I agree with you; we don't talk about it enough as a culture. I think in terms of who you have around you and the people you let in your building. And I don't think we value friendships the way that we should. I think one we use the word oh, friend, yes, yeah. way too loosely. Um, yeah. I put like a really high high value on if I call you my friend. Yeah. then you're very, very important to me. There's less than five people that I call like actual friends. Oh, wow. So yeah, so we, we have this wow. conversation often. So your thoughts. That sounds like my wife. So I've heard, so Felicia's very like much levels. like levels, there are levels to friendships. Yo, I've never been that dude. You like, just, I everybody's have my your bestie friend. and I have this and I have that <laughs> and then you're on this level and you're, but you're not here and then uh, <laughs> like women typically, I've, and from my experience, women talk about friendships all, in nigga, that manner. Just make me <laughs> words, I feel the same way. What did you say? I said I feel the same way. So just yeah, the women thing. So I've never, I've never really <laughs> See, I gotta did that. Put, I have to put the deeper but, So is this something that could ruin? Yes, twenty one years right of friendship. Yeah. No, nah, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> so no, go ahead. I, I, so but, how do but, you how do you categorize for it? Like I, I, I don't. But I, I, what I will say, I do. I just don't put labels on it. But you right. know me, I'm the dude that right. dated you my wife for two years straight before I <laughs> married her and didn't put a label on him, bad boy. So. <laughs> I don't put the labels on the, on the friendship. So I, I think at the end of the day, um, you know, you I refer to you as one of my closest friends, right? right? That's just, I'll, I'll always say that for sure. Um, other people I'll, I'll call my friends for sure. You know, it just depends. What is a friend though? What is somebody like, what is a friend of you? I think it's, it's multi-layered. Dang, okay. I'm not good with just on the spot definition. But basically right, 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 someone right. who knows you, you there, there's, there's a knowing, right? right. There's an exchange What's of What's the difference between somebody you, like Facebook friends, for some, like somebody you will friend on Facebook versus yeah. somebody you may, um, you know, mm -hmm. right? And then somebody who's a close friend. Mm -hmm. I think, so I, I think it's, in, the, the one word I would say would be intimacy. Mm -hmm. And not to sound, you know, weird, no, 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 but it's, but it's no, intimacy. intimacy. And I think, you know, I, whoever defined it, but I think my dad is the first person mm -hmm. I heard say, but intimacy means into me see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, um, the people that can really see into you, the people that can that know who you are, right? Changes and not that can help adjust you and align you and kind of keep the, keep you to a compass. Call you. I had a friend call me the other day, and he literally. This is what he said. He said, "Dude, man, you are way too smart. I think you, I think you should be further along than where you are right now." It, literally, that's what he said uh -huh, to me, uh -huh. and, and I was like, "What?" You know, at first yeah. I was like, "What you mean?" But then I realized, <laughs> yeah. like, what he was being right. a friend you know yeah, what i mean and yeah. he knows a certain aspect of me and he was trying to push me along in a certain yeah. area and so at the end of the day i think i think those are the friends and i think it looks differently at yeah. different times and all that kind of stuff so the reason why i and this was a new revelation for me especially within the last three or four years is because i had a vocation where uh i worked with somebody who used the word friend very loosely mm. and so he would he would say hey my friend this person, my friend, that person. Mm -hmm. And then what I would find out is people would circle back around to me. It's like, hey, your friend. And he would use that as a means in order to get into, get like get opportunities. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, what I had to find out is, or what I had to eventually begin to do was, yeah, he's not my friend, but I do know yeah. him. Yeah, right? he's an acquaintance. Yeah, and so that's where I started to be like, you know what? Because then also what would happen is people would come back to me. It's like, hey, did you tell such and such that, mm. you know, and I was like, no. So, so that's when I began to say, you know what? I need to be very mindful on who I call friend because mm -hmm. I don't want there to right. be any cloudiness about my 
the intimacy I have with this particular person. Well, I think you have to do that with a certain level of celebrity. For us common folk like <laughs> Nasia and I, we uh, we oh, you're gonna call common? me common <laughs> folk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't. I can see for sure. Like right. you got to be careful of your designations for sure. But mm -hmm. on my side, I, you know, mine is uh, just a way to show one. the people that are close to me that I really value how like how much I love them. Like if I call you a friend, that means if you call me in the middle of the night, I'm answering the phone. I'm gonna drop things for you. If you're like, yo, I'm in this situation and I need twenty dollars, knowing that I only have twenty five dollars, I'm gonna get you twenty dollars. Like there's only a couple of people in my life that I do that for. And it's because mm -hmm. of the things that we've experienced together. It's the the trust that I have. Um, the respect that we have between them um, amongst one another it's the I was thinking about this earlier really randomly but like um, if somebody was trying to speak poorly about you or accuse you of something <laughs> I could I could confidently defend you because I know your character that mm, well that's a good I like um, that. and there's there's not that many people that I would go up to bat for because I, I don't know you deeply enough now hold up you about to disagree but I think no no I I, I, I feel Cause I'm thinking this. I love I love your definition. Cause part of me that. is I part of me is that. yeah. Part of me is like yo. When I think about when I watch the news, oftentimes what happens is is like uh, there's I was a murder. To to <laughs> I was just and, about to go there. <laughs> but, oh, okay, yeah. well folks are like yeah. So did you like he killed three people? What do you think? And they're like oh, it's so shocking because I would have never would, suspected he, that person. He, he doesn't have it in him. <laughs> he doesn't. Have he would it. never. <laughs> right. He would never do something right. Like, that, like yeah. I'll, I'm the type. Of, I want to know. Like if they were like, "Yo, Sean shot three people." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, that nigga did it." Because yeah. it's uh, <laughs> yeah, he that kind of person. That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that kind of person. He that kind of person that shoot a person. They cut him off. They did what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That sounds yeah, like Sean. I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. So yeah, that's how I know. To yeah. your point. So that's a good point. I think you made a great. Point. A, but it's a, it's a great point. I just think there's balance to it. You can go extreme. I think the balance is nah, knowing the human heart. You know what I mean? As yeah. long as we've known each other, right, right, somebody right. came at me sideways and be like, "Yo, your boy Shoy did show did X Y Z." I check them in that moment. Yeah. I'm checking them. Yeah. Period. But you then you're gonna out. go I'm to show you and you're gonna be like, bro, so, yo, hey, bro, I can't believe this dude. So, hey, bro, did you do X Y Z? Real right, talk. Right. Like, let me know. Right. right, right of right. course. You know, Absolutely. I shut it down in yeah. front of all them folks. I shut it no, all the yeah. way down. But. So I, it's crazy. I had a situation like that uh, in a barbershop. There was a dude who was who was speaking ill of basically. I was just at the cross movement, right? There's this dude who was speaking ill of the cross movement. He claimed to have known them in the past. And he said something, and he didn't know that I was uh, that I was somewhat. I had relationships with some of these that dudes. You are who you are, right? <laughs> I guess. And I was like, "Hold up, bro! Like, you know, you're making some some really extreme claims here, and you need to like back this up. Like, I, you need to give provide evidence because there are people in this room who are going to walk away with uh, a ill thought of these individuals, and not only that, like the church in general, this this genre of music, and you need to like provide some sort. And then he started to backpedal a little bit. Well, uh, I ain't know. I mean, I wasn't there. I mean, right, well, right, somebody right, right. told me. Right, and it was just I was like, that's so. In that sense, but to your point, what I would, what I would have, what I was like, hey, hey this chill. is you chill. And then it's like, look, when the next time I see these dudes, <laughs> <laughs> yo, I heard this, and I'm out here defending y'all, yeah. you know. But then again, it's like there are certain things. It's like you know what. I also need to realize, like you said, the human condition. Like I, if my wife tomorrow is like, you know, babe, I love you, but I've been cheating on you for the last five years. I need mm. to be like, you know what? I should have saw that. Because <laughs> you do be walking, like you be at the gym and I don't be knowing you, you know. So there is a part that of me that- would be the most mind blowing thing to me. <laughs> I'd be like, but you don't like people that much. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So what we've learned today is that uh, Sean will shoot somebody over our relationship, which I greatly appreciate. Hey, I don't know that I said that. No, you said all. that. That's what you said. <laughs> what? Hey, and Naja is definitely not basic. She's a celebrity. Yeah, Thank you. Sure. And she will for give me $20, that. even if she only has 25 for That's sure. the only part which I Which is pretty you're much giving me, You're giving me about 80% of your income. It's basically what yeah. you said. Because it's not, it's not just the 20 and 25. It's like if you have 100,000, you'll give me 80,000 if I need it. And yeah. I, you know, so anyway, cool.